Hello guys, it is Celine here. I am coming to you from my studio and there is some sort of weird setting going on on my phone. So I'm just hoping that once I flip the camera that my hands won't go wonky because it looks like my um, portrait might be on the, um, I, I don't know what I did, you know, technology. <laughs> It's a good thing. I make cards for a living. I am not a technology expert by any means, so I'm happy to be here. And I just hope that I can uh, present the info that I have for you today. So hopefully uh, the weird settings won't make a difference. That being said, welcome. I'm going to um, see if I can find myself on Facebook and um, have it not be weird. Hey, Trisha. It's Good to see you, my dear. Well, some weird looking settings on my video today. I don't know. Um, and let me see if I can share this. It's not letting me. You know, so I'll copy and paste and switch and do the hokey pokey and turn myself around. So I have news. Uh, tomorrow, all Stampin' Up! bundles are going on sale for an extra 10% off. And so is the... Um, die cutting machine, the cut and emboss and the mini boss. So um, if you've been looking at certain bundles, tomorrow might be the day to pull the trigger. Um, my stamp club is using this um, charming duck bundle. Oh, is it gonna let me do it? Yay, okay, so now I've shared it to the group. This is crazy. Organizing my stamp set and making copies for notebooks. I love that. Tanya, that sounds like very um, ambitious. And of course, now that I am live, somebody is texting me, so hopefully um, they'll stop. Because <laughs> if they don't, it could interrupt the broadcast. But I did turn on my Do Not Disturb, but you know how technology is working for me today. Hmm. It's all good. So, um, one big thing that I love to do every single month, um, I have about between 80 and 90 people on my stamping team through my team and their team and their team. So three levels and I can see them all in my reports and I try to check in at least twice a year. So the first time I check in with them is Christmas. I like to send everybody at least a Christmas card and a little something something. And I do like to send a birthday card. So this month I had to make nine birthday cards because out of my people there were nine of them that had um nine nine birthdays on my team this month so um i'm gonna finish up the cards but i thought these were cool enough that they should be a facebook live okay so i'm gonna flip the camera and cross my fingers because something weird's going on with this portrait view thing and um yeah i feel like i'm 3D, <laughs> but whatever, we'll, we'll flip the camera and hopefully you guys can still see my hands, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna um, give it a flip. I'm gonna move the table a little bit because I think I'm further down than normal. And what have we here? It is the glass mat. Oh my gosh. Well, starting tomorrow, we're going to be able, demonstrators that is, we'll be able to order a glass mat if you didn't get one before. They're absolutely fabulous for certain watercoloring techniques. And I happen to use it all the time, but I don't like to show it because you couldn't get it. Well, starting tomorrow, demos, you can get it tomorrow. And everybody else, customers, I am told that it will be available on July 3rd. Hey! You can see my hands. I was really nervous there for a minute that it wasn't going to work out. Oh, yes, you can. So um, if you're a demonstrator, you can get it starting tomorrow. And if you're a customer, you can get it on July 3rd, just before my birthday. Um, I didn't put a mat down. Shame, shame. And of course, I have all of this extra stuff. Oh, here. I got this one. Okay, so I usually like to have a black piece of paper and a white piece of paper on my cutting surface. And I'll show you what we were making this month for my birthdays. By the way, today is my downline Clydeen's birthday. Happy birthday to Clydeen. This is probably gonna be her card that goes in the mail today. 
Um, and I um, also, here we go, am using this for my card club. Card club is growing again. Um, we are creating packets for 72 stampers. You have until the 10th of the month to opt into card club. Um, emails for that went out yesterday. I will send another reminder, but if you're not on my email list, that's how you can get um, in touch with all of these classes and so on. We make eight projects. So two of each of four designs, including these happy cards. You make me happy. So they get a full bolt of the ribbon. And um, this month they're getting a full pack of the paper. So I cut um, extra embellishments on. So this, usually they'll get more embellishments. This time they're getting more paper. The paper is fantastic. I have to tell you, side B of this paper, so the side without the ducks, is just as cute as the duck paper. So you could make cards for days with it, even if the duck thing isn't your bag, you know. Um, so here we go. So that you make me happy. Happy birthday. Look at how fun these are. You literally just stamp right on top. The stamps are made to kind of go together. Hello, friends. So I'm going to show you. This is different than the, the birthday card because I pulled in soft sea foam. The designer paper actually uses granny apple green, which is a little bit darker like this one. Um, and I posted this card online earlier, but everybody loved it so much. I decided to make it part of card club this month. And, um, yeah. And then, oh my gosh, this frog. So I was thinking about this card for days cause he sits on his own little lily pad, but I really thought that he needed a bigger pad. So he's got the king size bed here. Um, but this is our card club and they make eight projects and they keep all the extras and totally fabulous. So when I came up with um, extras, because I designed that and I had extras, I cut my paper here to three and a half by two and made some birthday cards with it. I used uh, the Fern embossing folder. It's a 3D embossing folder. And um, pretty simple layout, just a couple of layers. My daughter was just telling me that I have a stamping style that she recognizes. I'm like, Really? I thought that all my cards were different. They all look the same. Are you serious? She said, oh yeah, mom, you're elegant. And I think she said simple and chic. I don't know. So what I did with this one is I took a regular card base. So it would be uh, normally just scored at four and a quarter to open that way. And then I scored it again in half at two and one eighth to make it a Z fold card. All right, so let's get down to business. The business of stamping. All right, so I told you that for this one, I'm not gonna use Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna use the Seafoam one for my um, leaves. And I did cut a couple of more shapes. This came out of the Stylish Shapes dies. And let's see here. We've got... Um, I should get it kind of in the middle before I decide what. So it's a two and five eighth inch circle. All right. So this time, instead of the granny apple green, I went down a shade and I am going to stamp my greens in soft sea foam. I used to hate this color and now I've been using it. I don't know. I used it yesterday on something. I'm enjoying this color. It's kind of like a mint green. And the brand new peach pie in color. So if you're here and hanging out, tell us where you're joining us from. I love seeing, you know what I love? I love when people are online here. I got a little bit of ink on my block. So this is the cloth that comes with the mat. Um, just to clean the stuff off my block. Um, I love when people are here and they're like, oh my gosh, you're watching Celine from, you know, Colorado. I'm right up the street from you. <laughs> we should get together where people meet. I love that. All right. So that is peach pie. What's the stuff on the top of that plant? Does anybody know what it's called? 
because I don't. It's the fluffy stuff in the in the uh, in the greenery. Oh, look at that! I got a piece broken off my ink pad. That's strange. Sometimes in classes, people like open these the wrong way, or but that's a new one. I've never seen that. Okay, and then happy birthday across the bottom here, because I. I am in need of a bunch of birthday cards. And now how about some duck? <laughs> when my daughter Alexis was little, we would go, you know, spend a th thousands of dollars to go to Disney so that she could be with her cousins. Oh, sorry. Hey, I have to get my noggin in under there so I can see, sorry, you can see my hair. Ha, I just wanted to get it like on the die cut. It does make it easy for you to stamp directly on top, but you really do need to be right above it so that you can see that there's white on this side and white on that side, but it's not hard to hit it once you know where it's supposed to be. And then um, this guy sits in between so um, I'm going to use the same color here. This is a uh, pretty peacock and I'm going to stamp off twice, once, twice. And then the third time I'm going to go right on top to color them in. So there he is. Isn't that fun? There is another stamp that fits on top of this for the beak and the feet if you want, but, um, you know I can't be like everybody else. I just have to use my wink a little bit. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, ink on my glass mat here and pick up the beak and defeat and color him in with the peach pie like that. Coolness. And really, um, oh, I was gonna, I lied. I was going to say that's all I need, but I want that little collar to be peach pie as well. Okay, so where's my little cloth? So now that I did that, I can just clean this up. And I'm ready to go to another color. So I want to make this super soft, but I definitely want to have a background behind the happy birthday. Because right now it's stark white. So I'm going to go back in and put a little bit of, oh, or a lot of ink <laughs> on my glass mat. And this is a blue brush. Now I've used this for multiple colors. When I'm done, I can just run it under the uh, water and change color. But um, this is right now my pretty peacock. But I, you know, I have one brush per color, sort of, but I don't care what blue it is. Um, that might be UPS, and if it is, he's going to ring the bell. <laughs> he can ring my bell. All right, my husband says, your boyfriend's here. All right, so I'm going to, um, I've been married for 24 years this year, so we can joke about stuff like that. All right, so I am, you notice when I brush off here, I'm using the glass mat to hold the extra. I used to go right in the ink pad and brush off on my paper, and then I'd be wasting all that ink that was on my paper. Now I can just go back to the softest part, and I've got a little bit more color for this without making it streaky. So I love the glass mat when it comes to using my blending brushes. <sighs> Happiness. And is this guy not the cutest ever? He is so fun. All right, so here we go. Happy birthday. And we'll call this Clydeen's because Clydeen, it is her birthday today. I love mail and birthday cards to my team and I love the surprise and delight when they're not, it's not on their radar that it's coming or maybe they don't participate in the team meetings. They just use their, um, their discount, you know, their hobby for a discount and they don't necessarily participate in the team things and they get so surprised when I send them something because they don't see it coming, you know, it makes me happy. All right, so here we go. Happy birthday, quack, quack. 
But anyway, we'd spend thousands of dollars to go to Disney so that Alexis could be with her cousins. And then Alexis would not want to go on any of the rides and we would go feed the ducks. So when I saw this bundle come out, I thought for sure that I should pick it up. I grabbed another one because of her. Did I tell you the story about the shopping cart? Tanya, I don't remember. Did I tell you what happened the day she came home from college? I guess I can tell you. So she comes home from college, engineering major. She's got a 4.0, so brilliant. So uh, here's my college kid, all smart and stuff, coming home, yay. There's no food in the house because if it's just me and my husband, why would I go food shopping, right? So I'm like, why don't we go food shopping? So she says, okay. So we get to the supermarket and... Um, I'm like, here, why don't you take the cart? So I turn around and I start walking and I hear, bang! And she very forcefully drove into uh, register 14 and got it caught on a bag, of, like on a thing of like a chip display. So not only did she like hit full force, but now it's stuck there. So. We finally get going and get the cart off the chip display. You know, nothing to see here. But she hit it so hard that let's just say that um, this is the this is where she hit it. The end of the aisle's up here. The the, the <laughs> there's a refrigerator on the end of the aisle, and it came flying open. I mean, she really hit it hard. So we round the corner and we're all embarrassed until we locked eyes and then we totally broke down in hysterics and we're standing in the aisle in the supermarket laughing hysterically with tears because, you know, you want to drive? And then I gave her, um, I gave her the keys so that she could go meet her friend for dinner. <laughs> she went and drove the car, but luckily she pays attention better to the car than she does with the supermarket cart. But all that being said, you know I had to go get this stamp set for the picture because I posted the picture of us like crying, laughing so hard on Facebook, but that's the story behind it. So there's gonna be a scrapbook page coming, but I used the thanks today on a different project. It's such a cute set and I'm really happy. Like this happy birthday is nice and clean and it's pretty, so I'm glad I got it. Oops. And yes, Trisha, um, the ducks are this month's stampers eight. This card is not, this is like birthday cards from my team, but uh, the cards I showed earlier, these are all gonna be um, for this month. And if you don't have the bundle, I was gonna offer to um, purchase them for you and you know put them in your thing, but um, they're gonna be on sale 10% starting tomorrow. So you might wanna, um, pick them up tomorrow. Maybe I'll throw a host code in that group for you guys. We are growing by leaps and bounds. I prepped for 72 this month, which is just blowing my mind. But it's it's a fun group and it's a great class and people really love it. And what I love the most is people are posting if they don't have the stamp set, people are posting all the alternate samples that they make with the kit, which makes me so excited because everybody's, it's its hitting as intended. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's sparking your creativity. So there is my happy birthday card for Clydeen and all of the June babies on my team. Now I just have to stick the rest of these together because I did in fact, oh, did I not make enough? Oh, here, there's some over here. I did in fact prep some of these before my live, but I thought it would be a good show. I have to say these ducks are so cute and they're so easy to stamp. I was a little intimidated by them when I saw it in the catalog because I didn't, you know, imagine that it would be that easy, but it is, I did stamp off twice for this, you know, for the thing that fills in the duck, but there's another stamp that does the feet and the beak if you don't want to paint. Or maybe you do like to paint and you want to just stamp the outline and color it. Um, but any of those options work. So, yeah, so big sale tomorrow. Die cutting machines, 10% off. 
Um, bundles are 10% off. Um, epic sale coming. I'm very excited. And who doesn't love ducks? <laughs> These guys are so cute. When Alexis did go to school, that joke, you know, we, we talk about ducks all the time, but when she did go to school, I bought her a whole roll of heavy duty stickers and they're all different ducks. So that if she wanted to um, throw a sticker on her charger or throw a sticker on her toolbox, cause a girl engineer, she still needs a toolbox, bright pink one, by the way. Um, she has ducks on her toolbox so that she knows which one is hers because she wasn't the only girl engineer in the class. Go figure. Love it. Women in STEM. <sighs> the, I've been doing this for a long time and the, the thing that I know more than anything is the more I think I know, the more I th need to learn. I have so much to learn from all of you and I appreciate you guys so much. I've been, uh, I did paint these, I thought. They're gonna need Wink Estella before they go out the door for sure. Can you believe I'm Nicola? Oh no, it was on there. I'm like, I, was, I thought I was losing my mind. I thought I was neglecting my Wink. So what do you think of this one? Do you like the um, the Z Fold? Do you think my team will be excited to get one in the mail? All right. What's the uh, what's the eyeballs, Trish? <laughs> These are so cool, though. And it is joyful for me to create all these cards and get them out in the mail. And just because I had to make a couple of extra ducks. Oh, come on, where are they? So there might be more duck cards in my future because I didn't do circles for those. You neglected your wink. Yes. I can't believe it. There was a wink shortage, and it is on low inventory now, so I would recommend if you're going to um, get yourself one of the bundles when they do go on sale, you should also pick yourself up a wink because I think it, we're going to blink and it's going to be out of stock again. Can I say we just can't keep a good sparkle? All right. Not too bad, huh? And now after this, I have to make masculine cards because uh, that is my team's swap this month. So I am knocking stuff off my list left and right. I've been writing directions for those cards for retreat. I mean, for uh, retreats done. But for uh, club, that was next on my list. Hello, friend. That's very similar to what we just did, but it's so pretty. And I love the way the blending brush works with that whole bundle. And, yep, there's the last one. So. Right, exactly. No fussy cut in here. Not one bit. <laughs> Not on that class. That's funny. All right, kids. So that's it for today. I know it seems really qu quick for me, but um, yeah, it was on the fly and I said, well, I bet you that they would love to see, yeah, that they would love to see the, the projects. Woo, woo. Oh, here, got to put it in the front when that portrait thing's on. So cute. And yeah, like, hello. Love it. Oh yeah. So you can only be one or the other. It's like Zoom all over again. Anyway, have a wonderful week. Um, if you have any questions at all, you can send me an email. If you need anything, I'm here. Um, good luck with the sale tomorrow. I hope that you get your bundles, and I hope none of them go out of stock. There's the, the uh, Stamper's Blessing. None of them go out of stock. And have a great week. Talk to you guys soon.